I run hospitals, not health spas. Two beds to a room, no exceptions. There was a survey once. A thousand people asked if they could know in advance would they want to know the exact day of their death. Who the hell was that? Who the hell are you? 96% of them said no. Oh, God. What am I in the morgue? That was the first time I laid eyes on Edward Cole. I want my own room. You run hospitals, not health spas. Two beds to a room, no exceptions. Damned if I'm going to spend the next three weeks laying next to zombie boy. My freshman philosopher professor signed this exercise and called it a bucket list. We were supposed to make a list of all the things we wanted to do in our lives before we kicked the bucket. Cutesy. It's pointless now. We could do this. We should do this. This is living! I hate your rotten gut! Oh! Is he insane? Depends. You're gonna drive it or buy it a dress? Just getting to know each other. I don't understand how you can run off with a total stranger. I've got 45 years greased up under the hood of a car. I think I've earned some time for myself. You got kids? I don't see her. It's time. Why are we, uh... Oh, my God. What are you so afraid of? Just because I told you my story does not invite you to be a part of it. Dear Edward, there's no way I can repay you for all you've done for me. So rather than try, I'm just going to ask you to do something else for me. Find the joy in your life. You hate me. Not yet. <laughs> we live, we die, and the wheels on the bus go round and round. Proud of you. Nobody cares what you think.